Lesson 9, Mixed Inequalities, Techniques number 5. First of all, I'll show you how to um, solve this inequality with x in the denominator. And we're going to use this technique to do an absolute value 1. Now, this could only be used if this is greater than, should be an equal to, or there, I think, yeah, equal to not there. Uh, this can only be used uh, when it's, this technique, when it's greater than 0. Now, for this to be greater than 0, the numerator must be positive and the denominator must be positive. Therefore, x minus 2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0, and x plus 3 has got to be just greater than 0, because we can't have it being equal to 0, okay? because you can't divide by 0. So this becomes x is greater than or equal to 2, and this becomes x is greater than minus 3. Now, if we take that, we can see that the only situation is x has got to be greater than or equal to 2 for that to work. Now, equally, this could be negative, and this could be negative, and that will give you the result of that being positive. So, so this is, sorry, there's an and statement in here. So x minus 2 can be less than or equal to naught, and x plus 3 has got to be less than naught. That is, x is less than or equal to 2, and x is less than minus 3. Right? Now, if, it, if it's less than minus 3, this will work, but it can't be just less than or equal to 2. So the two conditions are that x is less than minus 3 and x is going to be greater than 2. So I'll write that down. x is greater than 2 or x is less than minus 3. Now on the number line, you'd have minus 3 less than, hang that way, and 2 that way, and the 2 filled in. Right now, solving uh, the absolute value x minus 2 on x plus 3 is greater than equal to nil again. Okay, so using that same technique, and only if this is a 0 here, only if it's a 0, um, we can say this has to be positive. Now, we know that the absolute value is always positive, so the only thing you have to do is say, well, the, the denominator is going to be positive. So x plus 3 it's got to be greater than 0, not equal to. Therefore, x has got to be greater than minus 3. And we're done.